Awesome, I'm so excited. We had an issue with one of our lines and so we called our rigger and he's actually gonna help us with putting up our main sail and halyard. Yes. Let's cover some key terms on by Felicia. First, we have the main sail. It's attached to our mast. Then we have ropes on the boat, which are actually called lines. We have the main halyard, which attaches to the top of the main sail and runs through the mast all the way to the cockpit. On the bottom of the sail, we have an outhaul, which attaches to an area of the sail called a clue. It runs through the boom and back into the cockpit. We have another line called a main sheet, which attaches to the bottom of the boom and runs to the cockpit as well. Since we have a main sail that furls into the mast, we need a special line called a continuous loop, which will assist in furling in the main sail. So yeah, so check it out. So our rigger came out today because he gave us all, we bought a whole new set of lines from him. He spiced everything for us that like he's rigging. And then we had an issue with one of our lines. He came out, re-spliced it. So this is a continuous loop line, so it has to be spliced on the boat. So he, he spliced that for us. And then while he was out here, we got our new mainsail. Man, this is so exciting. Just it's had a fucking real. expert come out and put on our brand new main. I was worried it wasn't gonna fit because it's a thing that happens a lot of times. It looks so crispy. Yeah, I can pull it. So the rigger, Kurt, is helping us feed the mainsail in while Matt is pulling the mainsail up and I'm just taking out the slack in the main sheet. What you'll do is you'll kind of tap the luff a little bit and when it starts sounding like a drum you're in the ballpark. Okay, okay is it looking better up there? Yeah, it's doing well. Okay, so I'm going to furl it in now. You should squirt this with some silicone spray. Yes. It's kind of not really... What would be Going a brand of silicone spray? like? Dry lube, okay. Silicone spray is a silicone based lubricant, not, you don't want anything that is petroleum based like an oil. Right. You just want something to dry. Got that out. Worked it in and out a couple times. It's rolled up right in here. He adjusted the tension on our furler. He helped me out with this furler. When we've been sailing, we've noticed that um, our jib furler will pop out. So we had the rigger look at it too while he was here and kind of troubleshooting it to make sure that won't do it again. Show me how to take it apart. So when I service it, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's kind of scary when your sail's in the air and you're on the morning ball. And we're push, push. <laughs> but we got it done. These sails, when they do get fouled up inside the mast, it's a nightmare because there's very, there's no room for air. It's tightly wound. And when these sails get older, they, um, they'll start to bind up and then you have to get up there and cut it out. And if you can't put your sail away when you need to put your sail away, potentially in a storm, that's a real big issue. So that's the drawback to the system. How do you avoid that? Well, our rigger suggested that we get, a, even though our mainsail is really Probably has years left. He suggested we get a brand new main. I think, too, I think we might be too deep. If I could get it around that shroud. Looks like you're maxed out. Earlier this year, we had Gavin come inspect our rigging. He looked at everything. He even went up the mast. He gave the thumbs up on nearly everything but the running rigging and the main sail. With how long it takes to get parts, we didn't get the sail up until now. 
Both Gavin and Kurt took their time to ensure all our questions were answered. We found them to be honest and very experienced vendors. Gavin at the Cruising Rigger and Kurt at Keys Rigging have our vote. If you ever need five-star work, hit them up. We'll put their contact information in the description. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please check out our Patreon page or like and leave a comment below. And we'll see you next time.